Story Club. There's the sign when the kids come in. Come right this way. So they come in here. They get excited. This is some stuff for some crafts we're gonna do. They can shoot, they can look at the books we're gonna read. Some of the books we're gonna read today, we won't read all of these, but they can look at them. Here's some games they can play. Put them down here. And they do the first part just playing for like 30 minutes or so. These are the different words that they can make stories with. They like to make silly words. There's more down here. You're here! Oh my gosh, he brought his own book. Looks very good. Baby Brains and the Ravome. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. This is Taj. He's a cool guy. Say hi! <laughs> Every week they can choose to come on Monday or Tuesday. And then I have an older group of kids who are 4th grade to 8th grade and um, they come twice a month. At the beginning of the summer we were discussing like, oh we're going on this trip and or we can have enough money for the trip, you know, paying because we just finished renovating our house and I thought, you know what, I need to work some more and I want to be a librarian but those jobs aren't available so I'm going to be a librarian in my home and it's really helped out my family but also it's been really fun to see the different groups of kids who come in every week and they're excited and it kind of makes me tear up when the moms of either groups will tell me like he's actually having fun reading or I see an improvement in his English and I just or his scores have improved or his interest anything like that it just makes me feel like okay I'm doing I'm doing a good thing here you know like it's it, it's fun for me too so it is slightly informal in the sense that I like to have the kids interest and their attention span guide the schedule <laughs> so I don't I'm not very rigid I make a I make a detailed plan for myself but I like to I like to let them take the lead so that it's fun for them and it's exciting for them and they're not um, feeling like they're bound to one thing <laughs> all right the future as far as the future goes I'm always thinking ahead of what I think the parents would like their kids to learn and what I think the kids would be really interested in and so um, I'm always thinking ahead of time with themes and things like that. Like I have all the Halloween themes planned up for October. I'm just like biding my time to get September over with. But, um, but as far as growth, I've actually scaled back. Last month I had like 27 kids a group and it was just, it kind of stole, it kind of just dimmed the magic of it to have too many kids. And that's kind of the unique thing about Story Club is we can, have the smaller numbers that classrooms wouldn't necessarily have so we can have that special experience. So as far as growth goes, I'm not sure. Um, I want to expand as far as like the website and things like that and um, I've had some people ask me about ebook ideas and stuff like that. That would be super fun but as for now, I'm actually simplifying to make it a really special experience for all the kids who come and to make it worth it for the parents, you know, so. And more fun for me. It's better when I'm not spread so thin, you know, we just get to play and have fun together, so that's the future. <laughs>